Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this lovely little Gather Together project using the mini shipping boxes. So let me set this aside and I'll get started. The first thing I wanted to show you is the tags and feathers elements that I'm using for the focal point on this box. These things are fun to work with, but there are a couple of tips. So the first thing you'll want to do is pull your wood shape that you'd like out of the packaging and take a sanding block and run it over the disc where you want to stamp. What this is doing is it's breaking down the finish a little bit and it will allow it to absorb your ink. So I'm going to take my pretty peacock and the sentiment and I happen to be using Seasons of Thanks for this project and I am going to ink this up and then stamp, one, two, three, and lift, and I've got a beautifully stamped image that way. So I'm gonna set this aside to dry, and I'm going to bring in one of our cute little mini shipping boxes. Now this has the logo on it, so this is actually the bottom of the box, and the top flaps um, don't have adhesive, but can be closed, so that's what we're gonna focus on here. And I'm going to turn this over, and bring in my soft suede ink and my little wheat shaft here and I am going to stamp once here in the left hand corner and then I'm simply going to flip my box over and I'm going to stamp once again on that left hand corner on that larger flap and now I'm finished with that and I can start putting my box together. Now I like to make sure that I'm getting nice sharp creases for this project. Because I'm using a belly band, I wanna make sure that all of my flaps will be nice and tight um, creases so that it'll hold together a little better and not be quite so uh, rounded or, or rocking a little bit. That can happen if the tight the flaps aren't tight. So you're going to fold on all the score lines and then use your bone folder to crease. Once I have that done, I have a box that looks like this and you can see the two little images here. So I am going to bring in my Come to Gather Designer series paper and I happen to be using this beautiful pretty peacock pattern here. I've added a picture piece of sticky strip here on the back side. Okay, I'm going to simply start on the bottom of my box and I am simply going to fold this around. Now I'm not going to adhere this at this point. I'm just using my fingers to fold on those lines where the designer series paper wraps around the side of the box. And then once I have all of those done, now I'm ready to adhere by removing this little protective strip and wrapping the designer series paper back around that box, lining up the edges and simply adhering one end to the other. And what I've done is created this lovely little belly band. It can move. You can give it a little more give if you'd like it to slide off a little easier, but that'll keep my box closed without making it permanent. I'm getting ready now to work on this focal point. If you notice, I've got these beautiful leaves that I've made with the gathered leaves die, and I'm going to show you how I got this tone onto this leaf here. Okay, for this technique, I wanted to show you this little tip that I've got. What I'm trying to do is ink up the surface of the die. This happens to cut and emboss at the same time. And I've created these little washi tape finger holds so that I can tap the ink and then lay it onto my cardstock so that I can run that through my die cutting machine with the correct sandwich. Okay, I've run them through the die cutting machine and I'm simply going to lift those washi tape handles again and move my die. Aren't they gorgeous? And then simply pop them out of the cardstock piece. There we go. So I've got all four of my leaves cut at this point, and I am ready to bring over my box. And I am going to start building the top section here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm staying on this designer series paper strip because I want that to be 
um, holding the pieces and I'm going to put my two large maple leaves there kitty corner and then I'm going to take a little adhesive and add this beautiful crumb cake and soft suede leaf and then I'm going to do uh, the smaller one over here on the top and that gives me my um, leaf pattern here and now I'm getting ready to add my wood piece that we did earlier. So I'm going to take my Come Together linen thread, the Cajun Craze from the Come Together ribbon bundle and I'm going to thread that through um, the hole on the slice of wood and then I'm going to set that down and tie a bow and I find 8 to 10 inches is more than enough to do this with. Um, I do like to tie on the bolt, that is a personal preference, but if you want to cut the measurement is on the PDF for you. And once I've got my bow the way I want to, I can cut the linen thread and set that aside. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add some dimensionals on the back here. I've only got my minis. I would prefer to use my larger dimensionals, but that's what I had handy. So if you've got the larger ones, it'll give you a little stronger base. I'm going to take off that paper and then I'm simply going to lay that in the center of my leaves the way I'd like. There we go. And of course you can lift this up and slide this off. Press that on nice and tight and to fill your box. So let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Jenny. Thanks for joining me.